Get 30 days Audible free trial with the link in the description. Evan Rachel Wood, born September 7, 1987, is an American actress, model, and singer. She is the recipient of a Critics' Choice Television Award as well as three Primetime Emmy Award nominations and three Golden Globe Award nominations for her work in film and television. Wood began acting in the 1990s, appearing in several television series, including American Gothic, 1995-96, and Once and Again, 1999-2002. Wood made her debut as a leading film actress at the age of nine in Digging to China, 1997, and garnered acclaim for her Golden Globe-nominated role as the troubled teenager Tracy Freeland in the teen drama film 13, 2003. She continued acting mostly in independent films, including Pretty Persuasion, 2005, Down in the Valley, 2005, Running with Scissors, 2006, and Across the Universe, 2007. Since 2008, Wood has appeared in more mainstream films, including The Wrestler, 2008, Whatever Works, 2009, and The Ides of March, 2011. She also returned to television the following year in the recurring role of Sophie Ann Leclerc, the Vampire Queen of Louisiana, on True Blood from 2009 to 2011. She also portrayed the title character's malicious daughter in the HBO miniseries Mildred Pierce, 2011, for which she was nominated for the Golden Globe and Emmy Award for Best Supporting Actress. She stars as sentient android Dolores Abernathy in the HBO series Westworld, 2016-present, for which she won a Critics' Choice Award and earned Golden Globe and Emmy Award nominations. Wood also voiced Queen Aduna in the Disney animated fantasy film Frozen 2, 2019. Early life and family Wood was born in Raleigh, North Carolina. Her mother, Sarah Lynn Moore, is an actress, director, and acting coach, who converted to Judaism and raised her daughter in the Jewish faith. Her father, Ira David Wood III, is a locally prominent actor, singer, theater director, and playwright from a Christian family. He is the executive director of a local community theater company called Theater in the Park. Wood's brother, Ira David Wood IV, is also an actor. She has two other brothers, Dana and Thomas, and a sister named Aiden. Her paternal aunt, Carol Winstead Wood, was a Hollywood production designer. Wood and her brothers were actively involved in theater in the park while growing up, including an appearance by her in the 1987 production of her father's musical comedy adaptation of A Christmas Carol when she was just a few months old. Subsequently, she played the ghost of Christmas past in several productions at the theater and later starred as Helen Keller alongside her mother, who played Anne Sullivan, in a theatrical production of The Miracle Worker under her father's direction. She attended Cary Elementary School in Cary, North Carolina, and school in California, leaving public school in 1998 at age 12 for homeschooling because of bullying. She received her high school diploma at age 15. She was awarded a black belt in Taekwondo when she was 12 years old. Wood's parents separated in 1996 and divorced in 2002. In 1997 Wood moved with her mother to her mother's native Los Angeles County, California. Career 1994-2000 Early work Wood began her career appearing in several made-for-television films from 1994 onward, also playing an occasional role in the television series American Gothic. After a one-season role on the television drama Profiler, Wood was cast in the supporting role of Jesse Samler on the television show Once and Again. Wood's first major screen role was in the low-budget 1997 film Digging to China, which also starred Kevin Bacon, Kathy Moriarty, and Mary Stuart Masterson. The film won the Children's Jury Award at the Chicago International Children's Film Festival. Wood remembers the role as initially being hard, but notes that it eventually led to her decision that acting is something she might never want to stop doing. That same year she also had a role in Practical Magic, a fantasy film directed by Griffin Dunn starring Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman. 2001-2005 Breakthrough Wood made her teenage debut as a leading film actress in 2001's Little Secrets, directed by Blair True, where she played aspiring 14-year-old concert violinist Emily Lindstrom. For that role, she was nominated for Best Leading Young Actress at the Young Artist Awards. That same year, Wood played a supporting role in the Andrew Nichol-directed science fiction satirical drama film, Simone, which starred Al Pacino. Wood's breakthrough movie role followed with the 2003 film 13. She played the role of Tracy Louise Freeland, one of two young teens who sink into a downward spiral of hard drugs, sex, and petty crime. Her performance was nominated for a Golden Globe Award as Best Actress, Drama and for a Screen Actors Guild, SAG, Award for Best Actress. During the time of 13's release, Vanity Fair named Wood as one of the It Girls of Hollywood, and she appeared, along with the other actresses, on the magazines. 
July 2003 cover. A supporting role opposite Kate Blanchett and Tommy Lee Jones in Ron Howard's The Missing, in which she played the kidnapped daughter, Lily Gilkison, followed the same year, as well as a role in the CSI, crime scene investigation episode, Got Murder? In 2005, Wood appeared opposite Kevin Costner and Joan Allen in the Mike Binder directed The Upside of Anger, a well-reviewed film in which Wood played Lavender, Popeye, Wolfmeyer, one of four sisters dealing with their father's absence. Her character also narrated the film. Wood's next two starring roles were in dark independent films. In the 2005 Grand Jury Prize Sundance Film Festival nominee Pretty Persuasion, a black comedy, satirical focusing on themes of sexual harassment and discrimination in schools and attitudes about women in media and society, Wood played Kimberly Joyce, a manipulative, sexually active high schooler. One critic commented, Wood does flip cynicism with such precise, easy rhythms and with such obvious pleasure in naughtiness that she's impossible to hate. In Down in the Valley, which was directed by David Jacobson, Wood's character, Toby, falls in love with an older man, a cowboy who is at odds with modern society, Edward Norton. Of her performance, it was written that Wood conveys every bit of the adamant certainty and aching vulnerability inherent in late adolescence. Wood has commented on her choice of sexually themed roles, saying that she is not aiming for the shock factor in her film choices. In 2005, Wood starred in the music videos for Bright Eyes, At the Bottom of Everything, and Green Day's Wake Me Up When September Ends. 2006 to 2008. Continued success in September 2006, Wood received Premier Magazine's Spotlight Award for Emerging Talent. Also in 2006, she was described by The Guardian as being wise beyond her years and as one of the best actresses of her generation. Later in 2006, Wood appeared with an all-star ensemble cast as Natalie Finch in the Golden Globe-nominated 2006 comedy drama film Running With Scissors. Directed by Ryan Murphy and starring Annette Bening, the film was based on the memoir by Augustine Burroughs, which is a semi-autobiographical account of Burroughs' childhood in a dysfunctional family. Wood had roles in two films released in September 2007. King of California, which premiered at the Sundance Film Festival, a story of a bipolar jazz musician, Michael Douglas, and his long-suffering teenage daughter, Miranda, Wood, who were reunited after his two-year stay in a mental institution and who embark on a quixotic search for Spanish treasure. One review praised Wood's performance as excellent across the universe, a Julie Taymor-directed musical that was nominated for a Golden Globe and an Academy Award and was set in Liverpool, New York City, and Vietnam, focused on the tribulations of several characters during the counter-cultural revolution of the 1960s. It was set to the songs of the Beatles. Wood, who has described the music of the Beatles as a major part of her life, played Lucy, who develops a relationship with Jude, Jim Sturgis. The film featured her singing musical numbers, and she describes the role as her favorite, calling director Julie Taymor, one of the most amazing directors out there. One critic wrote that, Wood brings much needed emotional depth. Wood provided the voice of an alien named Mala, a mechanically inclined free thinker, in Battle for Terra, a 2008 computer animated science fiction film about a peaceful alien planet that faces destruction from colonization by the displaced remainder of the human race. The film won the 2008 Grand Prize at the Ottawa International Animation Festival. The film showed at the San Francisco International Film Festival, where she received an award at the Midnight Awards along with Elijah Wood. Wood starred in 2008's Vadim Perelman directed The Life Before Her Eyes, based on the Laura Kosicki novel of the same name, about the friendship of two teens of opposite character who are involved in a Columbine-like shooting incident at their school and are forced to make an impossible choice. Wood played the younger version of Uma Thurman's character, Diana. One critic cited her performance as, hands down extraordinary. Wood stated that she intended the film to be the last one in which she played a teenager. In the same year, she also co-starred in Darren Aronofsky's The Wrestler, winner of the Golden Lion Award for Best Film at the Venice Film Festival, about Randy, Ram, Robinson, Mickey Rourke, a professional wrestler from the 1980s who is forced to retire after a heart attack threatens to kill him the next time he wrestles. Wood played Stephanie, Robinson's estranged daughter. Of her performance, one critic wrote, Once her character stops stonewalling her father and hears him out, Wood provides a fine foil for Rourke in The 